I'm Rebecca. Mm -hmm. I'm 57 years old. I'm uh, HIV positive and I've uh, got cervical cancer. Hello, I'm Dr. Debbie Saslow, Director of Breast and Gynecologic Cancer for the American Cancer Society. Rebecca is one of more than half a million women diagnosed with cervical cancer each year. Cervical cancer is not something we think of as a deadly disease in Western countries, but it's actually one of the largest cancer killers among women in most low and middle income countries. I'm only human. The times where I could like, feel so low and say, but why should it be me and yeah. stuff like that? What about my children? What if in an event uh, of, of death? How am I going to, who's going to take care of my children? During the time that I was on my chemotherapy, we didn't even like have accommodation. The primary cause of cervical cancer is infection with certain types of human papillomavirus, or HPV, a common sexually transmitted virus that often shows no symptoms, but can turn into pre-cervical cancer lesions. It's important to educate women on screening, early detection, and HPV vaccines where they're accessible. Access to low-cost screening and treatment options can detect the precancerous lesions before they develop into cervical cancer. So when they examined me, that's when they found that there was something wrong mm -hmm. with the cervix. Yes, that's when I started the, the, the treatment or the appointments. I'm passionate about this because my problem was detected, I think, a bit late. And it was stage four by then, I was told. That was way back 2006. Early detection, prevention and treatment is actually the best. I know people are, are like scared. There's that perception of uh, and meet around mm -hmm. to say, uh, when you go for screening, this is what happens, that happens. They are discouraged in a way, but I would urge them to say, go for screening. Cervical cancer is the third most common cancer in women and there are more than 500,000 new cases worldwide. Nearly 90% of cervical cancer deaths occur in developing parts of the world. Cervical cancer is a critical priority of the American Cancer Society's global efforts. We're encouraged and grateful for government and NGO leadership in countries like Tanzania, Zambia, Mexico, Colombia, and Argentina. And to our NGO partners, including the UICC, Cervical Cancer Action, the Zambian Cancer Society, and many more. We're very grateful to Gavi for making life-saving HPV vaccines affordable and accessible to girls and young women when they can be most effective. And we are especially inspired by cervical cancer survivors. Their passion and hard work helps make a difference and show the world that there is much we can do to stop cervical cancer and its devastating consequences. And I've decided to put it, to take it in a positive way by being an advocate. I'm okay now, I'm, yeah. I'm surviving, I'm a survivor.